Why hello, you're watching me have a look at the Star Trek official Starship collection by Egomos. Today we are looking at a special edition one, which is the Enterprise Ring Ship. This is a weird ship. Not the fact it's got a ring on it, the whole history and the background behind the ship. Um, I should have really grabbed my timeline book. Unfortunately, I didn't because uh, I'm an idiot like that. I'm not even going to pause the video and go and grab it. But um, I have a timeline book, which is based in the original series era. And this ship is mentioned in there, but it's no mention of the NX Enterprise or the Phoenix Flight and so on and so forth. Actually, I'm really tempted to go and get it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to because it's not model related. So, this ship isn't mentioned in any history or timeline, apart from the original series and, I believe, the motion picture, which is really odd. But this was dated before the Federation was the Federation, but it was around Starfleet-y time, if that makes sense. A bit like the NX wasn't a Federation ship, it was a Starfleet ship. Um, I'm trying to get this up closer, but I don't need to. Warp speed, less than warp four. I like the ring design. The ring design is similar to the Vulcan ships, isn't it? Um, even says here, it's like the history behind the ship is very grey. This is. Let's flick through it. So you've got some brief history, brief designs. So you've got the picture here. Uh, here we are. This is one of the paintings that were used on the Enterprise Rec deck. So if you watch motion picture again, you see this picture in the background so it is recognized in canon but it's just not mentioned anywhere else ever again yeah look there's the picture of it see you go here's all the pictures of the ships named enterprise and you've got like a, a sailing ship battleship a shuttle then you've got the ring ship and then you've got uh, constitution constellar yes constitution sorry um also you've got the rings which are similar to the vulcan ships of that era this actually looks really nice. It's like a let's we'll get closer. It's like a hybrid of the ring ship and the traditional warp nacelle ship. I like that. That would be nice to see in function. Um, some more pretty pictures. See, so there's another picture of the ring ship. Another little thing: JJ films. I'm trying to flip that over. I don't like folding them over that much. Look, obviously this is from JJ because you got the ring ship there. And then you've got the Phoenix there, you've got an NX there, that goes all the way up to the Vengeance. So it seems to be canon in darkness in JJ's. So it's just interesting where it sits. It's just one of those ships they've like, oh, we've forgotten about that. Um, motion picture lost ships no one's ever seen or heard of again. I hate it when they do that and they mention aliens and they don't see them ever again. They're not Doctor Who aliens, to be honest. And that is it. I haven't actually had a read for it. I've literally just flicked through it like you chaps. But let's have a look at the model. I've read on the internet some people are really... I can't open it. Are really unhappy with the quality of the model. Uh, I can't get in it. But we will have a look because I haven't actually opened this shirt. Has someone stolen... There it is. I was going to say, someone's stolen my model. And this thing is... Humongous. This thing is huge. Look at the size of this thing. It's really heavy as well. This whole body is metal. The rings around the outside are plastic, but this thing is solid. It's metal. It's like probably claws on a few times of it. Right, it says USS Enterprise on it. It's a bit odd. Does it actually have a USS? Yeah, it does say USS Enterprise. It's just a registration that's a bit odd, isn't it? So let's try and have a nose for it. It's just weird to try and hold this thing. Right, let's have a look around here. We've got, we've got some windows at the front. It's like an eggshell colour. The windows are slightly out of alignment, but I'm not sure if we should be nitpicking. The model this size, there's no reason for them to, to be out of alignment. Is it the same on the other side? I can't even hold this thing properly. I'm going to take a pot guess. This is obviously the main area of the ship and also you have like an engineering section and cargo section here maybe i don't know um i, I can't i don't know how to look at it let's try just want it nose like this shall we it's not bad also i've heard people whinging and moaning about it actually complaining the general quality of it and 
the printing and stuff. But this is not half bad. Look at the detailing on the rings. Obviously they've just filled that in with their own a bit of imagination. Because it wasn't seen on screen. Look at that, it's beautiful. It's very well done. I must be one of the lucky fuel. So let's flick around the back. Oh, I like what they've done with the engine. Is it an engine? Could be an engine. You can see it's, like, it's all split up. Got a bit of gold in the centre. You've got some like, eggshell on the outside. It's quite nice. It's well nicely done. I've even had people complain about the printing on the inside. That's very nice. That is really nice. I like that. I was expecting to be disappointed, but I'm not. It's really heavy. It feels really sturdy and strong, and it's really, really big. I'm talking really big. As you can tell from the box, the box is mahusive. Is mahusive a word? But anyway, that is your Enterprise ring ship. With some polystyrene. Okay, cool. I can't even hold it in my hand. Right, if I just hold it up. Like that, there you go. That is your Enterprise Rings ship, and I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will catch you on my next one. Thanks for watching, and basey bye.